Okay, welcome everybody. This is going to be a sort of new segment on the channel that I'm doing here. It's similar to Smack Talk, but a wee bit more interactive and reacting to videos and stuff like that. So what's been going on the last week and the last few while? This week, Stephen Nolan became so bored that he created a new sport. Do you care? Joe Biden and Donald Trump appeared on a very unique version of Roast Battle. It's hard to get any word in with this clown. The Republic of Ireland had such a poor display against Slovakia in the European qualifier that an entire country wished live sport events were cancelled again. We'll get stuck in without further ado into the first one. The first one is Stephen Nolan. My camera, my video was down here, so if you don't mind me looking down a bit, that'll be fine, but you'll get the reaction. So if here's Stephen out abusing well, people in sir. the workplace. Do you care? Do you care? Or even he's in a shop. So why, did, why did you go in without it? <laughs> like, I'm just asking. Go on somebody else. Classic Northern Ireland sponsor. But, but it is the law, sir, so we're Stephen just, we're up just all asking. Stephen pulling up all his treasures. But I'm just asking why Them jeans it's are the law. Them skinny, Stephen. Does it matter to you that people die from this? My favourite part about this first one is that your man's coming out of the shop and he's like, oh, Stephen knows from me. No. And he starts giving him guff. Why don't you wear a mask? And your man just beelines it away in any direction whatsoever. He didn't even stay in where he was or walk to his car. He just walked in any direction. He's just like, oh, get away. He walks down the street to nowhere and then realises, oh, shit, my car's right over here. I'm going to have to walk the whole way back with him and Stephen's going to track me the whole way. No, next one. Now, I'll stop it here, right? I love this bit. I love how he's standing there, like, eyeline over the cars as if he's, like, some sort of, like, tiger in the African plains or something like that. They're hunting down his prey. Just standing in the forecourt, just, like, to hear, staring at everybody. Creep. Anyway. We're just trying to chat to people about not wearing masks. Sorry? No, I know you're all right, but somebody who you infect might not be. Why are you not wearing a mask, sir? Can I just have a conversation with you about why you feel like you don't have to wear a mask? I love this guy. I honestly don't. That's what I would do. No, I just forgot it. Get out of my way. wondering about mask wearing. It's not really a laughing matter, sir, is it? Is there any reason why you're not wearing a mask? It didn't occur to me at the time. It didn't occur to you. You're asthmatic, are you? This is madness. This man's literally asthmatic. He goes, I'm asthmatic. And he's like, you're asthmatic, are you? Do you can't question people wearing If he says he's asthmatic, he's asthmatic. I go, ah, you looks fine, do you? You're asthmatic? <laughs> oh, he's a looper. Anyway, th the thing that is most mind blowing to me about this is Stephen only gets paid three hundred and ninety thousand a year. He's not like me, where I just sit in front of a camera and waffle and come up with an idea, and no one checks it. No one goes, "That's a terrible idea, Sean. Don't do that." If I want to go make a video harassing people with masks, I could go do it easily with no one stop me. He had to get this approved by a full team at the BBC, producers, editors had to arrange a whole crew to go to this place and go and harass people at the shop and no one stopped thinking go yeah you know what that's not a good idea how has this made it to this stage where you're leaving Stephen Nolan to he's like do you know what it's actually like it's like do you know them videos you see on Facebook it's like pedophile hunters and they go up and goes ah oh, yeah so you, you're texting 16 you know we have the text in it he's literally like one of them I just can't get my head around it and the bright side of it I guess he's getting out and getting his exercise it's like one of them things it's like he went to his PT and was like I'm struggling getting 10,000 statues. I don't care what you do, Stephen. As long as you do something to get these 10,000 statues, you know what? I think I'll be able to come up with something. So yeah, he's created his own sport. Mask hunting, or no mask hunting. You just run after people. Well, it wasn't really a run, it was a waddly walk, I suppose. But yeah. <laughs> right, that's that. Stephen Nolan in the bin. Brutal. Next big story in the news is the, I can only call it a comedy roast battle from Donald Trump and Biden. I've only seen... 30 seconds, this is like a 5 minute video from NBC, so we're we'll reacting to it. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not looking forward to this one. Make sure... Right, you ordered last in I, your class, not first in your I, class. I, <laughs> I want to make Mr. sure... Mr. President, can you let him finish? I love how it's somebody's job to give Donald Trump all the dirt on all these people, like, just get me anything. Anything on this person. You used the word smart. You graduated <laughs> either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Smart! Don't use the word smart. I don't know what Joe Biden did, but I presume whatever he did, finishing lowest or close to the bottom, and it's probably a good achievement comparing to how Donald Trump would have fared in whatever degree or class it was. Smart? Don't ever use that word. Because, when you answer that because question, the you question want to put is, a lot of the new question Supreme is, Court is the radical question, left. Will you shut who is up, man? Listen? This is the future, potential future president of America has just turned around to his opposition and went, shut up, man. Now, all he had to do in this situation, I would just say, not stoop to that level. Don't drop yourself to his level, because that's exactly what Trump wants. 
He wants you to go down to his level. If you're going to have a shit, like, a shit house race, Trump is going to win that. If you want to go down the shit house route, Trump will win. The man is hilarious and will just light you on fire. Now, whether you like him or not, I don't care, but the man is hilarious with some of the stuff he comes out with, some of his liners. Like, the fact that he's standing there opposite someone that's very highly educated and going, you want to say smart? Smart? From what I've gauged is, you don't want to go to his level because you drop yourself to his level, he's going to win. It's like being a professional fighter and then going to a street fight. On a street fighter knows all the dirty tricks. The clean fighter just goes, no, we're doing the clean, we're doing the clean way. The, the dirty fighter's not gonna have as many tricks because he can't use his dirty tricks. Does that make sense? So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Keep her going. Be gone, miraculous, like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm. And that would take care of it. This is a serious <laughs> sarcastic. That that would seem, you know that. You maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm. That was sarcastic. There's no way at the time he was being sarcastic. Why on earth would you want your president being sarcastic about injecting bleach into your arm? Even if you were being sarcastic and it was blatant sarcasm, why would you joke about that? That... <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Trust me, I am a very sarcastic person and I can... I love me some sarcasm, but that, that's a bold claim, that one. Plus, or give people a warning of it. Also, how old does Biden look? Like, you don't panic. He's so... Wrinkly and old. Also, I prefer to say it's NBC News. I don't know if that's fake news for whatever coverage in America. I just know whatever this is the I'm going with. My son was. If I was the son of a potential president, I would not want him bringing me up. He got the he got the Bronze Star. He got the Conspicuous Service Medal. He was not a loser. He was a patriot, and the people left behind there were heroes. Really? And I resent. You talking about Hunter? Are you talking about? I'm talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking about. I don't know. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Hunter got thrown. Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. It wasn't dishonorable. Cocaine use. And he didn't have a job no. until you became vice president. Once you None became of that vice president, true. he made no. a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, <laughs> is and various not other places. True. Oh he my, my son! My son! God. And he didn't have a you job. You cannot. This is what I've told him about, but stick to his level. You stick to his level. He's going to come at you with the serious shit. He literally just came out and said, "Your son was basically a drug addict. He was dishonorably discharged." Oh. <laughs> that, that is not holding back. Oh my god. That's just a roast. A complete and utter roast. That has nothing to do with anything. It's just that is madness he even came out of that. There is uninterrupted. Well, your your side agreed to it. And why don't you observe what your camp right, I've watched four minutes this and I I can't stand it anymore. This is awful. Old man shouts at old man. Basically the gist of the entire video. If like I thought Arlene and Michelle were bad. Jesus. That, that's crazy. How is that the best America has to offer? Maybe it is. What do I know about America? Why does it always seem that the crazier you are, the more power you have in America? That is absolute madness. I actually think Trump has probably come out the better now. Even though they didn't let each other talk the, the whole time, from that before minute clip that I just watched, which is hard to judge, I just think from the absolute blast he put on Joe Biden, like people in America take their military service and all that very, very seriously. And the fact that Biden had a son dishonorably discharged probably weighs quite heavy with some people. That is insanity. He threw that at him. I actually, I'm not laughing at the situation, I'm just laughing when he said it because, oh my God, talk about lighting someone up. <laughs> but yeah, that's that one. Uh, and then the final one is the Republic of Ireland. We'll get into it. No. So unfortunately I can't actually show any video clips of the Republic of Ireland game because it's Sky Sports and I'm going to get into the band like that. So just give my quick thoughts on it. I genuinely, I genuinely am glad they lost. As much as I love, love Republic of Ireland and support and be good and stuff, I could not have sat through it. I spent 120 minutes, which is extra time, and then penalties as well in that game. Oh, they are so terrible. I'm not even joking. That cannot be the best to have to offer. They were horrendous. Even not that, they're the better team out of the two, which says everything you know about that game, but oh my god, and losing on penalties too. Even the penalties and mess were just, oh, I don't even know where to start. Please don't put anybody through that every game. Imagine traveling all that way, and that's what you end up watching. If there was fans allowed in, I would have actually cracked up. Bring back the golden days. Roy, Duffers, Dunn, Given, Kino. When's Kino's son getting old enough? We need to get him on the ball. What a little Kino, probably about what, 12 or 13 now? So we're seven years away from the Republic coming back to greatness. And I swear, I. Well, I will watch it, but oh, mate, they're so terrible. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, bit of reaction video. If you've enjoyed the reaction side of the video, let me know. I uh, thought it was a bit different, a bit more interactive. See what was going on, see doing the Smack Talk stuff. And just get my thoughts on like occurring things that were happening and reacting to it. So yeah, 
If you enjoyed, let me know. Leave some comments, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Good luck.